The S&P 500 had a big reversal today, rallying nearly 70 points off of this morning's lows around the low 68.30s, all the way to close at 69.01, up 0.21% on the day. So even after the negative Oracle headlines that we saw in the post market yesterday, with the market overall gapping down pretty big today, this market has been extremely resilient. We're back up to the 6,900 level with 7,000 on the horizon. We continue to see big outlier volume coming in at that 7,000 strike, almost 100,000 contracts every single day. And if we switch back over to our daily candlestick chart, you know, I always like to review this to get a big picture of where the market stands. We're right back near all-time highs, and this looks to be a potential breakout, sort of a mini V-shaped recovery here on a shorter-term time frame, headed straight for that 7,000 gamma exposure level. You can see our upper dealer cluster zone between 7,000 and 7,100. Very little gamma exposure above that 7,000 mark. So it's likely that if we do see further upside, in this zone, there would be increased dealer selling pressure. We could potentially see some consolidation or even a rejection above or around that 7,000 level. So that's something to keep in mind as we head into this positive seasonality towards year end. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, one thing that we look at daily, because it's been a fairly good indicator in the past of when we're at turning points, is IWM. And we mentioned that it's been headed toward the 255 to 260 area over the last week. And that 260 target appears to be being fulfilled uh, with a pretty strong move today up to almost 258. In fact, the high was 258.01, so it really puts 260 into focus. It is the largest net positive GEX cluster, and so that makes it a, a solid target for us, given that IWM's total net GEX continues to move into more positive territory. Now, just as Anthony mentioned with SPX, we do want to pay attention to what happens at this 260 GEX cluster. We have some GEX at 265 and 270, but we would really want to see those GEX clusters grow to indicate higher likelihood of IWM making plans to move beyond that 260 strike. We also have some other indicators like the Keltner channels that signal a potential area of resistance that we're approaching. These Keltners are angled upward, forming a bullish channel. And so it's possible IWM could continue to cling to this upper line. We did make some changes with an IWM position in our own portfolio today. And Anthony, do you want to go over that with us briefly? Yeah, IWM is a trade that we've been in since August 26th. We entered the 250, 275 call debit spreads for $4.13, expiring December 19th. We bought 75 of those in our larger portfolio, and we bought two of those spreads in our smaller portfolio. And if we actually take a look at our screenshot from the time we entered the trade, IWM was trading at 234.26. And so today we actually exited that position. You know, IWM has been rallying over the last several days, breaking out finally above that 250 strike. Today, when we closed out the position, IWM was trading at 257.30. You can see here from our screenshot today that gamma exposure continuing to grow at these higher strikes. We've got big positive gamma exposure at the 260 strike and some growing GEX at 265 and 270. So with expiration coming up next week, we went ahead, locked in our profits. We actually bought 75 of the December 19th, 250, 275 call debit spreads uh, in our larger portfolio, and we bought two of those in our smaller portfolio, closing both of those out today at $7.84. So we're gonna look to potentially re-enter a position in IWM for either the January or the February expiration, because we do think another leg is coming. We're gonna wait for a little bit of a pullback if we can get one over the next week or so. But ultimately, we think this is a play that could continue working in our favor for the next few months. By the way, if you guys wanna track our trades in real time as we manage our options portfolio, you can become a member at geeksoffinance.com. You can also get a sneak peek of what we're trading right now by checking out our community Discord absolutely free. I'll put links in the description below to both of those so you guys can take a look. Let's take a look at the VIX, which has just been absolutely crushed. Back down below the 15 strike, uh, 15 is where the largest negative GEX cluster resides right now. Most of the volume today was at higher strikes. This afternoon, in Discord, we noted that the VIX at that time, which was in the 1520s, really looked like it was destined to retest this whole moving average, which used to be resistance and has become support. 
And we see this line turning, you know, flattening out from the steep downtrend we saw. So this is sort of an early indicator for me that it may be time for bulls to be a little bit more cautious. Uh, maybe we tag 7,000 on SPX in the next couple of trading days, but then maybe we see a pullback uh, because the VIX, based on what's happened all year and the current GEX picture, does not look destined to head to 12 anytime soon. The two-hour chart also brings attention to the near term with the VIX dropping to the bottom of the two-hour Keltner channel. Now, the Keltner channel at this point is pointing downwards, so we can see prior times where the VIX touched the lower uh, Keltner channel. Thanks, Sean. Next, let's take a look at Tesla. Tesla was actually down today, down 1.02%, closing at 446.87. And if we zoom in here to the daily candlestick chart, we can see we're in a bit of a congestion zone. Both of our upper and lower dealer cluster zones are very close together, sandwiching the large gamma exposure concentration at the 450 strike. We actually just exited a trade that we were in in Tesla, an iron condor position, targeting price to stay between the 400, 450 zone by December 19th. And, and we actually closed this out yesterday when Tesla was trading at 445.88. But take a look at our post uh, from the time we exited the trade. One of the reasons we went ahead and locked in our profits, we had small profits of $318. But one of the reasons we went ahead and locked those in was because the GAM exposure at the 500 strike was continuing to grow. And most of the positive GEX was between the 450 and 500 level. And so with price trading at 445.88, we went ahead and locked in those profits and shifted our iron condor up to target a move into this zone with the large GEX concentrations. And we think a larger breakout may be coming into the early part of next year as Tesla finishes up its consolidation period at these levels. So that's something we're watching out for and we think it's just a matter of time before price eventually starts pushing up towards that 500 strike. You know, not all of the magnificent seven names are looking good at this point, but I did wanna bring attention to Amazon. Amazon's one of a few big tech names that still looks fairly constructive to me. The chart itself looks neutral, but we have a positive GEX picture. We still have most of the daily volume concentrated amongst these higher strikes. If you look at the gross GEX picture, the positive and negative GEX at each strike, it really seems like there's kind of a thick wall of support between 220 and 230. If we look at what happened recently, we did see this, this wick indicating eager sellers in late November, and it's been consolidating since then. I think it's also noteworthy to point out that the 3D graph shows 23250 as the largest GEX cluster expiring tomorrow, 235 on the 19th, OPEX Friday. And then we get up to the 240 and 250 area in January. So we still have a positive tilt toward the largest GEX clusters on Amazon. And guys, for a limited time, you can get an additional $300 off our yearly portfolio manager tier subscription. Use code HOLIDAYS2025 at checkout. This discount is going to be ending very soon. So definitely take advantage of it while you can. Members get full access to our Gamma Exposure Dashboard, our option flow analytics tools, as well as our algorithmic trading strategy and you'll also get access to the premium channels in our community discord there's a ton of great traders in there sharing their own trade setups and strategies and you can also track our trades in real time as we manage our options portfolio i'll put links in the description below to all of that so you guys can check it out thanks so much everybody for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video